Cross-site scripting, also known as XSS. It's what happens when your browser becomes an unwitting puppet, executing malicious code right inside a legitimate website. It's sneaky, it's dangerous, and it's everywhere. In fact, XSS vulnerabilities were so persistent they appeared on the OWASP Top 10, that's the industry standard list of the worst web vulnerabilities, for nearly two decades before being grouped with other injection attacks in 2021. So why can't we stop it? Let's find out. Welcome back to the hidden world of cyber threats. I'm Alex, a vulnerability researcher at Workbench, and today we're exploring one of the most persistent threats in web security, cross-site scripting. If you think letting someone else's code run on a website is no big deal, think again. We're about to see how attackers can turn your own browser against you, stealing sessions, hijacking accounts, or even taking over entire sites. Howdy, friends! Are your web pages feeling lifeless, static, dare I say, boring? We'll say goodbye to those doll drab interfaces of yesteryear. Introducing JavaScript, the miracle ingredient that brings your web pages to life. With just a mere sprinkle of JavaScript, watch as buttons click, forms validate, and content updates all without refreshing the page. But wait, what happens when someone else adds their own JavaScript to your wholesome family website? That's when this miracle ingredient becomes a recipe for disaster. Get out of here, this is my commercial. Here we are on catblogs.com, a WordPress powered fan site for cat lovers. It lets users post comments, share photos, and talk about their feline friends. I'm going to leave a normal comment, something simple. This input gets saved to the server, then displayed back to other users when they load the page. Everything works as expected. But what if the site doesn't sanitize someone's comment? What if it just trusts whatever a user enters. A hacker is leaving a normal comment, but also injecting a script tag containing malicious JavaScript code below it. The contents of this script tag is designed to create an admin account with an attacker-controlled username and password. When someone else visits the page, for example, an administrator of the site, their browser will run it in their context. That means this code will run with their privileges. Now the attacker has a backdoor. They created their own admin account, username grumpycat, password meow. The real admin has no idea this happened. There's no notification, no alert, nothing suspicious. With admin access, the attacker owns everything. They can upload plugin and theme files, which can be malicious zip files containing backdoors, modify posts and pages, which can be leveraged to redirect site users to other malicious sites, inject spam content, or completely destroy the website. And here's the worst part. This back door stays open until someone notices that extra admin account, which could be never. And that's cross-site scripting. One malicious comment viewed by the wrong person and your entire site is compromised. The attacker used the admin's own browser against them, turning trust into a weapon. Let's check out some real-world exploitation that started with XSS, each one more wild than the last. 2005, a guy named Sammy wrote a worm for MySpace, just a little JavaScript that added the message, but most of all, Sammy is my hero, to infected profiles while sending himself friend requests. It spread like wildfire, over a million profiles in 20 hours. It's the first publicly released self-propagating XSS worm to gain widespread attention. Now, this wasn't a serious attack, but it shows the effectiveness of XSS. 2020. Facebook, a researcher found a DOM-based XSS in the Login with Facebook button. By exploiting post message validation, attackers could hijack any account with one click. Facebook paid out $20,000, one of their highest XSS bounties 
at the time. 2024 WP Statistics, a WordPress plugin with over 600,000 active installs. CVE 2024-2194, an unauthenticated stored cross-site scripting lets attackers inject JavaScript to create admin level accounts. Reports show this vulnerability has been actively exploited by threat actors. 2014, TweetDeck, a teenager's XSS payload wrapped in a heart symbol went viral. Around 82,000 automatic retweets in hours. It affected major Twitter accounts like BBC Breaking News and the New York Times. Twitter had to shut down TweetDeck entirely to stop it. XSS doesn't just break websites, it breaks trust. It weaponizes the very thing we rely on the browser. Let's talk defense for WordPress sites. For developers, the main rule is never trust user input. WordPress gives you built-in functions to handle this safely. See these ESC functions? They're your first line of defense. Anytime you're displaying user data in your theme or plugin, use the correct escaping function for the context. For input, WordPress has sanitization functions. Clean the data when it comes in, escape it when it goes out. For site owners, here's what most of them miss. Outdated plugins and themes are the number one source of XSS vulnerabilities. That update notification? Don't ignore it. Developers patch security holes all the time. For end users, a carefully crafted XSS payload will evade your detection and you'll likely never even notice. This is where WordFence comes in. Our web application firewall knows common XSS patterns attackers use against WordPress sites. We block them before they reach your code. For uncommon patterns, we leverage custom WAP rules powered by our threat intelligence and bug bounty program. We see thousands of XSS attempts daily comment forms, search boxes, and custom inputs. WordFence catches these automatically, even if your theme or plugin has a vulnerability. Bottom line for WordPress developers, use the built-in escaping and sanitization functions if you're writing WordPress code. For WordPress site owners, keep everything updated and run a web application firewall like WordFence. For end users, there's not much you can do to prevent being a target of an XSS attack. This is why it's so important for developers and site owners to implement these strategies that prevent XSS on WordPress.